Well, this week we're back at track house racing with Atlanta winner Daniel Suarez. And Daniel, I just noticed you were looking at the car. And uh, what were you thinking there whenever you were checking it out again? You know, I was actually looking more detail into the damage because the damage that we had wasn't huge, but it made the hood kind of like go up a little bit. So they had to seal, you know, the, the edges of the of the of the hood and also of the of this little piece in the center uh, that uh, that cools the the engine and the air. So because that makes downforce. So. Uh, it looked like it didn't have a lot of damage, but it was very aerosensitive. So they had to try to fix it, and it doesn't look pretty. But uh, but yeah, it was it was it was good enough to to be able to compete for the win. There, there is always a lot of different scenarios that go through through your mind to be able to to get it done right. Um, the research was extremely important. Uh, unfortunately, the research wasn't executed perfect because uh, we lost the lead on the research. Um, I felt like I got a good push from the eight but the 19 also got a great push to the 12 so it was it was a little bit tricky there but um but yeah um at, at the end i was trying to to get some good momentum uh with the two uh to be able to attack the 12 but the two was teammates uh his teammates with the, with the 12 so i wasn't getting a lot of help because he knew i was gonna attack his teammates so it was a little bit tricky uh there were there is definitely a lot of different scenarios that went through my through my mind but uh at the end of the day, uh, what, what, what we did work out for, for a little bit, but it worked out. I'm selfish, and I wanted to be the first one to congratulate him. That's why I drove my car out on the front stretch and uh, ultimately cost our team a bunch of time loading up. But I'll take it if I can be the first one to give him a high five and look at him from car to car and, and congratulate him. Um, yeah, I definitely want to win, but I was that whole cool-down lap was just hoping that he was the one that got it. I know in the media center after the race, you were talking about what a tough journey it's been and the folks who've helped you and, and, and been with you along the way. Having had a couple of days to think about that, would you did you think it would be this tough? Um, no, I probably, I mean, maybe 10 years ago, yes. But I would say that when I won the Xfinity Championship and, and when I was coming through the ranks, I didn't think it was going to be this difficult. Uh, just for the fact that you need a lot of people around you to be able to be successful when, when you start fighting with the best of the best. And, uh, and you know, that's, that's what I have found here in Track House, um, the, the amount of support that I received from them to be able to not just compete, but to build a team around me and, and build a strong team. Um, it's quite special. You know, I, I, never, I never had the support uh, in other teams that I have here in Track House. And, and for that, I will be forever grateful. Uh, and, uh, and I think that we have uh, something special going on right now with the 99 team. And, uh, and I hope that we, we, we keep it rolling. If we continue to be hungry and humble at every opportunity we have. We don't feel entitled to anything. We feel like uh, you got to earn it every day. And, and our, our crew guys you know, work that way. Our drivers work that way. And I think that's why you saw Daniel didn't even over celebrate you know, in, in the, in the uh, you know, press conference afterwards, he was like, "No, it's, you know, like it, we're, it's time for us to continue to build on this. This isn't the end. This is the beginning." And I think that's the the vibe that we've had here. Um, there's a lot of confidence in this place right now. There's a lot of momentum around the company. There's a lot of momentum around international announcements around MotoGP, around a lot of sponsor announcements that have happened in the last 60 days. And then he's continued to back it up on the racetrack. So I just think that's every time something like this happens is the validation of everyone's work and 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 just keeping the, the right attitude and the right mentality um, it's a long season it's it's easy to get high and low and uh, we we've been able to stay pretty even keel honestly I, I feel extremely fortunate I'm very blessed to be in this position not just uh, representing uh, Mexico but uh, everyone in Latin America um, as you know there is a lot of a lot of Latinos a lot of Hispanics uh, here in the United States, and uh, and I feel very very proud and very humbled to to be the face uh, of the Latinos in the in the in the world of NASCAR, and and what a, what a what a best way to represent my my people, my community than than, than being successful, and and uh, you know that all, all that is thanks to to many people, my team, Track House, uh, many sponsors, and uh, and many people that really support us to to be in this position. How do you feel heading into Vegas? First uh, race without the drafting package. Do you feel good going in there? 
I, in reality, we don't really know all the way until we get there. But but I do know that the communication and all the work that we've been doing with our with the race team, uh, it's been uh, it's been extremely important, you know, to to be successful and, and to be able to to to, to get better and uh, and definitely. Uh, what I have seen the last couple of weeks has been very promising. Uh, we see what we got in Las Vegas, but uh, definitely we have set the bar in a, in a pretty good spot, so we have to keep it up. Well, for Daniel Suarez, he heads to Las Vegas this weekend looking to become the first foreign-born driver to win two races in a row.